Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is two videos in two days, actually three videos in two days. So I'm back, I guess, to making videos. I had to make this video because I have done something that I've been trying to do for two years now, basically. So a lot of you know about Google Trends, obviously. Google Trends is a really, really good tool to maybe try and find some keywords, okay? But the problem is, when you search for something, it doesn't really, you can't really search for a trend, okay? It's quite hard to search for a trend. That's kind of the problem, I guess. Like when you do find something, it's really, it's almost always just gonna be copyright, like T-shirt, Ferrari, etc., etc. However, I recently, while I was streaming, I saw something that was very, very interesting, which is keywordtool.io which is a completely, well, I'm gonna say completely free. They do have a premium version. However, just to get the like idea of the keywords, then you don't actually need to pay anything. So we're gonna be pairing this up with Google Keyword um, AdWord, Google AdWord Keyword Planner. I'm gonna show you how to set it up again, just because it is so complicated. So once you create a account, you'll be greeted by this screen here, okay? And this is where people get confused. They get confused at the first point. They think they need to put business name, etc., etc. But you don't, you just need to click switch to expert mode. We're actually only using this tool in this video to check the amount of searches, okay? So we're gonna skip through this as well by clicking on create an account without a campaign. We're just gonna click no on here. The only thing this will do is you will receive an email saying that you've made a new Google ad account. Click on explore your account, then click on tools and settings and click on keyword planner. We now have a way to check the kind of almost exact amount of searches per month a keyword has. So this video is following on from the video yesterday about using various combinations of letters and other words with keywords such as shirt, so buyer keywords, okay? Um, on the Google Trend search part of keywordtool.io. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, for example, is I'm gonna write iShirt here. And you can see already, the summer I turned pretty. Okay, let's see. So click on here, change the languages, English, change the, um, the country, you can do whatever country you want, you can do whatever language you want, depending on what you're kind of working with. So you can see here, I have no idea what this is. It looks like a TV series, so we're actually gonna skip through it. And we're gonna go to the next one. I would like to remind everyone that I am not political. This is just, these are all just examples. But you can see here, year on year change, infinite. Three month change plus 900%. Up to 10,000 searches every month, guys. We know that that means that there are some sales to be had here. So you can see, unfortunately, this isn't a Redbubble search result page. It's a um, keyword, it's a product page, but there are only 362 results. So what I would actually do here is potentially make a Pinterest thing. It looks like this might be copyright actually. Playboy Carty Shop, what? I'm so confused. What? Okay, I guess, fair enough. I'm just gonna check all of these. Uh, it doesn't matter about um, any politics behind anything. Again, I'm getting kind of sick of saying that, to be honest with you. I'm just doing examples, okay, of keywords. If I see something that I think has a lot of searches, I'm obviously gonna check. It's gonna have probably 100,000 results by now because, the, yeah, 42,000, because everyone's got in on that keyword like a long time ago. Man, I love felines, shit, that's a good one. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to pick up on trends as they appear, okay? So what we need to do is we need to find a keyword that doesn't have that many results. Okay, that has a lot of results. Let's keep going. We're gonna find one that doesn't have too many results. Oh yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a good quote. I am, I am clinically insane shirt. I'm gonna find one that doesn't have that many results and also has a lot of searches per month on Google, like hopefully this keyword right here. The beautiful thing about SEO, well, yeah, okay, perfect. 
So what you really need to do is you just need to keep pushing with SEO. You need to keep looking, keep trying to find something. Um, and eventually you will find a good niche. That's only 703 results. It's really not that many. I'm not going to check that out. So there are loads of results here, you can see. And this is just the first example. This is I plus shirt. Another thing we can actually do is we can click on top here and see what else there is. But yeah, a lot of these will just be pretty bad. Like I love my girlfriend, which I see on every single um, keyword search I do. I love me though, that's a good one. Up to 1,000. I love my girlfriend, so please stay away from me. Wow, that's a lot of results. 1,319. Okay, now it's definitely better to be on rising, in my opinion. So this is the first 25 keywords. I exist without my consent, that's hilarious. You can see that all of these have really, really good um, searches per month. That's a really good keyword, but it's quite a lot of results, unfortunately. So yeah, I vape shirt. I am the American dream shirt. So the good thing about using the, a word, the word shirt in these searches is it's actually a buyer keyword, which means that people who are searching for the word shirt are most likely looking to buy. Okay, let's put you shirt now. This is the second group of probably 25 keywords. I wish it gave more, but yeah. You cannot kill me in a way that matters shirt. Okay. So three months change minus 90, which is interesting because this is supposed to be breakout. 73 results, that's a good one for sure. Rip off my shirt if you love me. I like it. Oh, really? Really though? Zero results on Red Bull. Oh, yo, that's a really good keyword. Oh no, it's a song. Look at that, TikTok, bang. Indexed on Google, that's super interesting to me, guys. I'm honestly starting to think that TikTok might be a really good way to just rank on Google. I think you should leave complicated shit. Oh, here go the fireworks. That's a weird keyword. You complete mess shirt. You can see that all of these people are obviously trying to buy them. Perfect. So I'm going to try a few of the ones. So stupid shirt is one that's very, in my opinion, it should be a good one, but unfortunately it's not. Okay. So let's try another one. Let's try like shirt. I think uh, probably this is going to be a decent one. Heartbreak feels good in a place like this shirt. 47 results. Looks like it's a quote from something. You look like the 4th of July shirt. 411 results, that's pretty good. Goats are like mushroom shirt. Okay, okay. See, this is something that I can imagine is going to absolutely explode at some point. Oh, we already missed it. Let's have a look. No, look at that. Plus 900%. This is about to explode. I can feel that this keyword is going to be really, really good. Awesome like my daughter shirt. I always find that. If you don't like me, you should get tested. Shirt. Sure. I love these keyword methods. These last two keyword methods that I've just found have been absolutely amazing. I flex but I like this shirt. They're, re they're really just giving me so many different ideas and so many different examples. And you can see that all of them have search results on Google. It's all about just finding the right one for you and checking that Redbubble is ranking here. Let's have a look. So Redbubble's actually not on this page, it doesn't look like. No, it's not. Amazon is, as usual. Amazon's always number one. Let's try the ones that we were doing yesterday. So I'll shirt instead of I shirt. No, okay. 
Uh, really? I'm not going to read this out because of YouTube, but I have a really strong feeling this is going to have, like, for some reason, like 100,000 searches a month. No. I don't know what this is from, but that is pretty interesting. Uh, will shit. It's all about finding the right combinations of things. Okay, so another one to try, Let's Shirt. Um, there's Let's Go Brandon, which I think I'm gonna get demonetized for saying that, I shouldn't have said that. Um, but I'm gonna check the other ones because, yeah, I think that one is very obviously copyright, so we'll just ignore that one. Any good ones here? Check this one. How many results? 856, that's not too bad. Let's tack about it. I like it. Let's see. 631 results. Let's see. Oh, that's just giving me a really good idea. Let's try taco shirt. Okay, no, it's all just taco. <laughs> taco cat shirt. Nah, come on. There's going to be like 150 million results, right? Yeah. Yo, yeah, no Taco Bell shirt. Unfortunately, Taco Bell is copyright, but I'm just curious. Like, uh, 228, okay. That's pretty good. Let's just try a few more. So I'm going to try pasta shirt. I'm, eventually, I'm going to find the formula find, for finding the perfect word to put here. No. Okay, so just before I finish the video, I'm going to try a few different things. So I'm going to write aisle poster, and I'm going to have a look at posters, for example, instead of shirts. So that hasn't worked. Let's try eye poster. Okay, so this, for example, I guess, but it's probably going to have loads of results. Well, yeah, of course it does. Millions of results. I love you poster. These are all pretty generic, to be honest with you. Okay, so the final thing we're gonna try is, um, we're gonna try using apron. I did do this on yesterday's video, but let's see what comes up using this tool instead. No. Okay, so generally this method is looking like it's a lot better for kind of t-shirt design ideas. But I would recommend watching the video that I made yesterday because the video I made yesterday, the method was even better than this one. But this is very, very interesting and I do think that this has a lot of potential. I just need to find out how to make it give me all of the good keywords instead of some of the good keywords. How much actually is this tool? I've never really looked before because I'm just not really someone that pays for things unless absolutely necessary. Yeah, doesn't seem to want to tell me how much it is. Oh no, it's like super expensive. 69 a month, hell no. Absolutely not. Okay, I'm just gonna try a few more things just cause I'm curious, like eye hoodie, for example. Seems to own, oh, okay. I see ghosts, lucky I see ghosts. I hot mums. <laughs> I love you. Okay, so I'm just at this point I'm just putting random letters and seeing what comes up, but this actually worked. There is no Planet B shirt. Let's see how many searches. Up to one thousand. Doesn't look like it's currently trending, but let's have a look. How many results on Redbubble? That's a lot of results on Redbubble. So what it seems to do is it does seem to take this word as a complete word, which is really, really interesting to me. And it means that we can use this even better. We can use this in a really, really amazing way, but I just need to kind of work out how to do it. I'm actually just making this video because I want people to understand just how good this, the potential for this tool actually is, because 
the fact that it takes this letter and it gives you exactly what it wants, it means you can literally write anything here and press search and just have a look what comes up basically. When it says unfortunately uh, there was an error, it doesn't mean that there are no keywords, it just means that it hasn't worked. So you can just refresh it maybe and try again. It probably won't work still, so I'm gonna try and click off. And now I'm gonna click on it again. It's still kind of new. It's like really, really new, this Google Trends option here. So another example, I guess, is I am, uh, <laughs> I'm stupid, I am sure. I didn't think of this yesterday for some reason. Okay, so interestingly, oh, I might have done this at the beginning of this video, actually. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> if you're searching that, then maybe, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I am their father shirt. I am sad I miss my friend's shirt. That's kind of sad. Oh, no. Why is that? Why is that here? Up to 1,000 searches a month. It's got to be checked on Redbubble. 161. That's kind of awful. <laughs> Look at these keywords, man. What the hell? <laughs> I guarantee this is made sales. This is such a good shirt. Wait, how many searches do that have? Does Red Bull actually come up here? No. It's just that song. I am the weapon shirt. <laughs> oh, I think this is going to be my last example. No, it's got too many results. It's not going to be my last song uh, example. Don't fail again. Thank you. Wait, what? What is this keyword? Yo. Redbubble is not here. Pinterest is here, Etsy is here. I mean, it's copyright, but if you don't use any of the copyright words and you just write this on a shirt, like, not legal advice, you're probably gonna be all right. Also, Walmart dropshipping, yo, seems pretty interesting. Why am I not doing that? <laughs> there we go. Uh, 124 results, very interesting keyword. I wanna know how many searches this has because it looks like it's gonna have absolutely loads. Yes, it does. Super interesting. I can't even remember if this is what I was doing uh, in the video yesterday, but the general idea Okay, this looks like it's a good one. Is to just find um, combinations of words that you can use together. Yeah, this is, it was trending, it's no longer trending. Apparently there are no result, results. How is that possible? Hello? Okay, well, I've done it again. I found a keyword uh, with decent amount of searches and zero results on Redbubble. I told you guys this is how you find things that you just cannot find anywhere else. And on that note, I'm gonna leave it there. De check out this tool. Literally, all you need to do is just go on Google and, and type in keyword tool. You can also write IO after it if you wanna be sure that this is the right tool. And then that's it. That's literally it. You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to make an account. Just ignore the premium stuff and just do your research. Try and find that gold, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.